<laughs> okay, top hat, please. This is not your moment in the sun. Or is it? Boop, boop. Hello. <gasps> We're having hijinks. It's a cooking show. I don't think that's how it works. Don't mock me. You try and cook when drunk. Hey guys, this week on My Drug Kitchen, we're getting freaky with tzatziki. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this top hat and tuxedo, well, it's because My Drug Kitchen is where the magic happens. Ooh, I'm drinking a tequila-based drink. Little pomegranate makes it slama la la. For those of you that don't know, tzatziki is a delicious, refreshing cucumber, yogurt, minty, uh, dipping, uh, saucy song of sorts, uh, all ready for you. The best part about making tzatziki is that it has cucumber in it. Thus, you should feel unencumbered, cucumbered, to explore different variations of your tzatziki recipe. Explore, take different routes, try different things, add different spices and seasonings to the recipe of your um, experience. Oh. Peel and dice your cucumbers. Put them in a colander. Colander. Yeah. Hey guys, what do you call it when cucumbers put 12 photo shoots in a row and attach it to um, some paper with dates on it? A colander issue. Step number two, easy to do. Just cut cucumber pieces with a plate and weigh it down with something heavy for about 30 minutes. This will drain the excess water out of the cuke. Dry off with a paper towel after the 30 minutes. It's exhausting. Now to make sure that your cucumbers aren't too watery, add a tablespoon of salt a tablespoon of salt's actually a lot, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm getting dehydrated just looking at this. Look, it's like it's in a colander. Look, get rid of the excess salt if somehow you put in too much. Next, weight it down with something heavy for about 30 minutes. That will get the excess water out of the cucumbers and make it so that your tzatziki doesn't end up too watery and gross. It'll do that later when you leave it in the fridge with the lid kind of off. You know how it goes. Hummus also, you can only ever eat once because later on when you see like that plastic half pulled back, you never want to eat it again. Just do this for 30 minutes. It'll help speed the process up. <laughs> really this like shaking method I've added is unnecessary, yet it makes me feel like I'm participating. See you guys in 30 minutes. Look at all the excess water from the cucumbers that got like squeezed out. Also, does this look a little bit gross? Me too. The next step is put cucumber, garlic, lemon, dill, and pepper into the food processor. But if you don't have a food processor, a blender will work. Why? Because you're on a blender bender lately and you love blending. Also, my favorite time using the blender was macho gazpacho. I feel like that had a very good reception as the sub program. Mm. Pick up. Ooh. Cucumber. Next, take off your top hat because it's too hot for such shenanigans. That's a really fancy blender. Next sensation, I mean ingredient. Three tablespoons lemon juice. Now, as science has taught us, three tablespoons of lemon juice equates to one whole lemon. Sorry, real quick addendum, I made that up. Ooh, definitely at least half a tablespoon. Super duper, very much. Take your dill and add it to the blender. Dill smells like a wet Christmas tree. Dill with it. How much do you guys think a tablespoon is? Probably like that much. One tablespoon dill chopped. Chopping sounds like this. Pew, pew, pew. Mm. Now it's time to add the garlic. Garlic is my favorite part of any recipe. Why you may ask? Ugh. Oh God, just leave me alone with the jar. Somehow rip the garlic away from your face and add it to this recipe. Ooh, garlic. Mmm, fuck you, that's good. Don't forget, add the pep. Not just your pep, but the pepper. Blend thoroughly. There it is, there it is. Blend. <laughs> Define thoroughly. It looks like soup. Then, stir in Greek yogurt. Add three cups. Oh, there's cups on the side. blah, 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 blended and blah, 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 put it in a bowl, then add Greek yogurt to that bowl. However, if you mess that part up, then just blend it and keep going because at the end of the day, you still want tzatziki, right? So yeah, let's just get it, let's do it. This is a little bit of a freaky tzatziki and that's maybe what you're into. <laughs> Taste 
Take your tzatziki. Oh no, I hate this part. <laughs> oh. That's the trick? You turn it? I feel like a lot of people knew about this. Ooh, watch out for the blades. Hmm, interesting. This tzatziki has a little bit of a different consistency that no one can tell why or how. Take a taste. Ooh. Mmm. You say edamame, I say edamame. Hey girl, that's delicious. Take a sip. Well, I love it. It's like a nice tart garlic milk. Hey guys, please subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. If you enjoy the internet, then maybe you have found your new favorite place. If you've been here for a while, hey dude. Have a great day.